You are listening to Claret and Blue, an Aston Villa podcast brought to you by Birmingham Live. Hello, welcome to Claret and Blue, our Aston Villa podcast. Uh, you join us the, the night after the Leicester match, so we, we're very much in mourning. Um, three became two. Dan Rollinson is so um, so um, ground down, is that a word? Battered down by Aston Villa that he's uh, pretending he's sick, although I can vouch for him. I went to see him last night and uh, it's a bit like when you're phoning sick and lay on your, um, you know, you, you, you put on your sick voice. Dan looked like he'd been made up for Halloween. He looked that rough. Um, so I hope you're proud of yourself, Aston Villa. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to get stuck into stuck into a, another inquest, into a, a, another another shocking performance. I'll put uh, some rose tinted glasses on it because Smith Smith seems to be doing it. Because he said it was all right defensively last night, which is a bit sceptical. Yeah. So yeah, Ryan kills you five minutes before half time because we had two good chances the first ten minutes. You go down one at the break. Then the penalty shout. I thought it was a penalty myself. I thought it hit the cap of badge on Mings's shoulder. Where does well, I don't know what the what the rule What's is. The rule I, don't is? I don't know. But then Smith Smith's blaming Bar, but wrong call. You're two down against Leicester. I've got the tails up, Vardy's on. Game over. So what do you do? Is it <sighs> The Rainer one's interesting for me because I don't know why you started. Three it. weeks ago against Tottenham. Yeah. And I know we lost that game. But he was pinging the ball around like Glenn Hoddle in his prime. He's great. Do you know what I mean? He was yeah. stroking it around. He was knocking it to his full backs. He was knocking it to his centre half. He was knocking it to his to his wingers. Yeah, kind yeah. of. How can an experienced man like Pepe Reina? I mean, I tweeted this last night, and yeah. sorry if I'm going over old material to, to people who follow me on Twitter. But you could have the kind of most most kind of relaxed, calm, zen yoga yoga guru in the whole world, and within minutes of been anywhere near Aston Villa we turn into a kind of quivering wreck yeah. it's not like Pepe Reina Pepe Reina he's got so many miles on the clock yeah. why is he making decisions like that he's like the monk out of me machine isn't he? <laughs> he's taught at Barnes did <laughs> last night but uh, you, weren't, you weren't at Southampton either he made a few, three or four ricks down there and luckily he, never, he got punished for the last one didn't he from the corner Yeah. but down there he's, he was like clotheslining people and that honestly I, I, I was surprised he started yesterday given no one's performance in the final yeah. I thought not only deserved his chance, especially at Rainer's performance down at Southampton. So, and it justified forty minutes in doing that. No need. I don't know. It's just shot stop as you say, but just, just, I don't know, just mentally making the wrong calls. Just masters of of our own downfall, really. And I thought we started. Well, I mean, uh, I thought we started well last night. I thought perhaps six, six or seven minutes in. Yeah, thought, they're on the front foot. They're up for this. Hundred percent. Any kind of confidence that have taken from that second half showing against Man City as that they've actually kind of moved that onto the next game, which is always a criticism that they don't follow up their, their mm. decent performances. And it was so so, I thought, first half. You know, it kind of Leicester kind of dominated it as the half wore off. Yeah, but it was it it's that moment then. And we've said before, this Villa team reacts really badly mm. to, to setbacks yeah. generally. And it was almost as if oh, one goal down, do, yeah. mounting to climb, yep. there's no way back in. And they just crumbled. Um, and they're not learning. They're not They're not learning from their defensive mistakes. Um, you know, there's some stats yesterday that said they only, they only had four touches in the opposition, in the opposition box, box. 90 minutes. So all that's going down, is And it? what we've seen, and this is no, not meant in any way to be a slight on Jack Grealish, because, you know, he's... He's carried that that team a lot of the season, particularly in McGinn's ac- a- a- absence. Like bloody, but you know, remember the game Bookeroo, do you? You know the game Bookeroo where you have to load all yeah, them yeah. things on a donkey. Yeah. It's not saying Jack is a donkey, but he's carried a real burden. Um, a bit like me carrying Dan Rollinson's video bagging today. He's carried a real burden. So I think we have to cut him some slack and forgive him when he's not. He's not the main man. But you have noticed when he doesn't. When he doesn't. Yeah. When he's not at his best. Yeah. And he's not dictating things Villa ain't really got much they're, they're off the team ain't they much around the edges no no, yeah a lot of finger pointing last night I don't know are the players good enough was a question I didn't manage to ask Smith I don't know what you think of so the squad he's got he's back to more season hasn't he are they good enough I don't know was Chelsea Saturday now it's another heavy defeat there you start to wonder don't you Um oh yeah I don't know I mean, it's, it's crazy isn't it last week everyone's saying brilliant Wembley did his proud best my manager doing this huddle fantastic and now you want, everyone wants him lynched it's the thing is that even when I play well they're not getting they're not getting nah, results so story. if you can't get if, you, if you're losing games when you're not when you're playing well 
you are going to get battered yeah. when, you, when you're not playing well like last night I mean, Smith Smith's future is an interesting one for me because I think with 10 games left now I think it will reach the point where the owners and Christian Perslo will look at this and think do we want to get to the end of the season and I think if they get to the end of the season and it carries on as it is and Villa go down I think they might, might look back and think should we have taken decisive action mm. um, 10 games ago I'm still torn to be honest because I still and it's not the Villa fan thing it's not the fact that Dean Smith is, is one of our own I think it's more the fact that he's delivered promotion against the odds ahead of schedule mm. I think that probably cuts him more slack yep. with me than the Villa fan thing and the also uh, another reason why I'd be loath to or I'd certainly give a lot of thought before before pulling the trigger on him is what we're we talking we're we talking Big Sam uh-huh. are we talking John Terry going in there as his number two because Terry's just as culpable in this as Smith yeah yeah, yeah. as far as I can see they've really got the worst defensive record in the in the Premier League yep. uh, I think they conceded 75 or 76 goals the year they went down um in 2016 that, eh? which I think they're on 55 56 yeah, or yeah, something yeah. now yeah. averaging two goals a game they're going to be the, the way they're heading they're going to be yeah. equal in that yeah. and that was that was an abject season Awful. Yeah. you know I just despair I just mm. despair and you kind of look down that fixture list and you think it's the home form that's going to keep you up isn't it they ain't getting nothing away are they based on the form are they going to get anything at home though? Well, the, the, I think performance is about okay but results haven't been there have they that's that's the, that's the main issue. They've been they've been playing well at home. To be fair, I can't remember the last time they got absolutely kind at home. Top so we've got year. Chelsea next. Tea time on the telly. So the home games Saturday. are Chelsea, Wolves after that. Have Chelsea, one? Wolves, Palace, um, Arsenal, um, Sheffield United at home. Might one more in there. Which is the home form for me? They've lost eleven out of fifteen away, which is awful, isn't it? Um, it's just, yeah, it's just home form. If they win that game in hand as well. They're out the, they're out the drop, drop zone. I think it all comes down to that game in hand. You've been really good at clutching for the positives. Well, yeah, um, sure. This season, fair play to you. You've got more patience than me. Yeah. Can you can you still find any? Uh, I'm, it's wearing thin now. To be fair, it really is. I'm just get sick of the same old story every week. Um, just mistakes. Where, where, where do these mistakes come from all the time? It's just like really not learning from from fixtures gone by. Is there reason for hope? You got McGinn coming back, and you know, I'm clutching at that. Bigger, big hopes on him, isn't there? Yeah, it's been, yeah, it's been dealt a bad hand with the injuries as well. Tom Eaton losing Tom Eaton. Okay, we got Rainer in. McGinn's been out for 15 games, a third of the season. He's massive in there, isn't he? And the players haven't been stepping up. Your Hura hands, your Douglas Louise's, they've been out on cold. And the players, the players are just as the blame as Smith for me. They haven't been, put, they haven't been doing it week in, week out. Uh, you will have a good game from Gilbert one week, next game he'll be horrendous. Um that's the that's the story of the season. So I don't know I don't know. Is it mentality rather than ability, do you think? Because it's almost like when they play well, they all raise the game collectively. Mm. But when they play badly, they all stoop to each other's they level. Do, don't they? So it's if you can if you can do that, if you can match teams, even if you're matching teams for seventy minutes, it suggests that there's something about them. There's not many leaders out there. Even like Michael Brighton was like getting stuck in last night and like, do you know what I mean? Players like that. We need players like that who are prepared to just, just run through a brick wall. There's not many players that will, uh, you had Huran coming off last night, trudging off, not, not bothered. Um, Douglas Louise floating round. I'm honestly just flying into a tackle just to get, get the lads going. Even Mings was saying, Mings, Mings was bereft of ideas yesterday. You see the camera pan to him, how, how, how. Forget how, how, how. Just, give someone a rollicking or something stuck stick one up his back side because he, he was poor last night as well he's the big I am isn't he he's the big focal point but for me there's got to be more leaders out there there's no, no one all looking around at Jack again he can't do it every week so yeah I'm he's struggling bleak, he? I'm, um, I knackered my ankle playing um, five a side on Sunday night it was my comeback game after two weeks out mm. two months out with a bad ankle and um, it went again after after 45 minutes I was traipsing down off the bus today I got Two laptops in my bag. I got. I ain't, I ain't thieving here. There, there were work ones that I needed. Two laptops in my bag. I got Dan Rollinson's um, camera kit over my back. Hobbling down like an old man, and I thought, 
this day ain't going to go. <laughs> this day ain't going to go well, is it? I've got to come in now and speak about Aston Villa <laughs> and try and, and, and clutch to put put positives on it. But it's I I don't see any of the teams around Villa, and I mean any of the bottom six or seven, mm. would have capitulated and rolled over quite the way that we did no. last night. So games in hand, whatever the fixture list looks like, whatever the teams around us do, I, I don't really have faith in so, Aston yeah. Villa, this Aston Villa team at the moment to, to look out for themselves and to, and to do the job for themselves. No, it's only a relegation side, isn't it? Just through in the towel, didn't they? With Barnes scoring late on, Vardy giving three bolts at the cherry, was it, to, to make it three? So yeah, they, were do, they, they are doomed at this stage. They need to come back and go again. It's a kind of poor Lambert phrase, but... Can they do it? I don't know. It's a home form for me. We'll see a reaction, hopefully, Saturday against Chelsea. Another daunting game. They're, they're, they're picked up a bit of form. If you get, if you get whacked there, three or four, I think um, I think you put your purse lows in your owners, might, might, might hit the panic button and it might be needed. Um, we'll soon see Saturday. They're going to be back in the squad, I, I expect. And they need a big reaction. Are they going to get it at Villa Park? Are four kickoffs Saturday night? I don't know. It's um, interesting, isn't it, because you say Chelsea have hit a bit of form. Leicester were going through a bit of a sticky patch, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, they'd, they'd, they'd won in five or six, had they? No. Vardy hadn't scored <laughs> since before Christmas. <laughs> you must, you must rub your, <laughs> don't worry, lads. You look down the fixture list. Don't we've worry. Got, we've, got, we've got Villa coming soon. Yeah. It's a shame Villa can't play Villa, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Just to give, give himself a, a boost in confidence. Yeah. I want a, a positive aside from this. You're cup winner, aren't you? Cup winner. Tell us. Tell us cup winner. T- Week on after Villa failed at Wembley, I, I, I won at Chase Town. So that was my Wembley. Go on and tell us. Tell us what cup it was. So it was the uh, Warsaw Challenge Cup. It, quite, quite a funny story to this. It was it's last year's cup <laughs> because it kept getting postponed. Oh right. Yeah. So kept getting postponed, postponed. Chase Town were letting, letting, letting us. You've been in the final for a, a while though. Have yeah. you only just, so you've been in the final. Final for a year, basically. <laughs> And we're in the semis of this same cup. Is there any are, are, are the team still the same, or have you got like, load of ringers in since then? We've got, got a few young lads in, so <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It might, might be um, might be an internal investigation there. <laughs> Man, Woodley's medal taken off me, but we went through. You know, um, tough game. I weren't going to start either because I got bad sciatica. Right, terrible. I'm getting old. I'm, I'm the oldest there now. How old are you? Twenty nine. Oh god, I know the twenty one, twenty two year olds, whippersnappers <laughs> running around. I'm the veteran now. And I was that close to not playing. I thought, give it a go, give it my back a stretch. And then, um, yeah, went one nil up at the half time against some horrible, horrible pub team. Like they was kicking us all over the gaff. They were horrible, and um, that was giving us like dog, dogs abuse. To be fair, and then one nil up at half time. I'm, I'm one of these players now. I know I'm coming off after like 60 minutes because uh, I just I got nothing left. But to be fair, so I knew I was coming off. But before that, my mate Brooks has had a shot. And I thought the keeper's going to spill this, so I've um, I've got a ghost in, gambled, on, gambled it. on it. I had about inches to inches for the net because the ball was going out of play. Put it in, ran off like Shearer, and I was yeah, happy days, made my die. Two nil up, that was a killer goal, and we got a third from the corner, and then um, it's party time down the Cat and Fiddle on Sunday. So yeah, so what time did the match kick off? Uh, and Sunday just gone yeah. half ten, so it was down the pub for one o'clock. Oh. Have you on it all day? I got home about six o'clock with all chicken and chips around my face and the chipper. <laughs> so, Mrs. was well impressed. <laughs> and yeah, no, great day. At least, at least well, one team for great bars winning anyway. So this would be um, this would be news to Aston Villa that, that you can win, fo- win football yeah, yeah. matches, win cups, yeah. score goals, yeah. keep clean sheets. Mm. So have you, I bet you've got a few. I bet you've bet your trophy cabinets are off. So I've, I've, I've seen you play. You can used you, to be used to be. Just, yeah, I've stayed low. I've been at the cat now since I was 17. Stayed low, Leno. So, what you kind of, I bet there's been a few kind of inquiries, haven't there? From yeah, yeah, there has, <laughs> yeah, to be fair. But now, nah, good win. So, yeah, we've got two other semi finals as well. So, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of with this being my last year with having the little one. You know what I mean? I don't know. You can still, you can still eat 29, more, 30. Yeah. Getting on now. 30, 31 playing still. 19 yards running past you. It's not nice. But, yeah. <laughs> That's, that's actually bought me some cheer Good. That has, to be honest Yeah, just the chicken and chips around your face <laughs> as, as much as anything so we've got Chelsea coming up on Saturday back at a packed out Villa Park unless coronavirus shuts down the whole country by then um, 
what do we do? Is it a personnel thing? You know, if McGinney's anywhere near, do you throw him in, throw him in straight from the start and risk him doing a Matt Kendrick and injuring himself, <laughs> injuring himself first game oh back? Dear, I can imagine. Or that'd be typical Villa, wouldn't it? What do you do? I don't, I don't know whether it's a personnel personnel thing. I mean, I still find it strange that that he he obviously doesn't quite think that Trezeguet or El Ghazi know, yeah. are up to it so he started playing Elmo in a wide attacking right role and he's a steady you know he's a steady Eddie isn't he uh, Elmo El- 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 Hamadi but is he offering enough of no, an attacking it's not. threat far from it no because he, he, bur- he burst through yesterday so he's got space in front of him less of the players behind him he's like what do I do now yeah. so he's bereft of old he's a right back isn't he he's not, yeah. not an attacking wing he probably was back in his prime yeah. But he's um he's an experienced old head at right back now. He could be an option to get Gilbert out of there, maybe put Alma at right back. Because Gilbert's it's mad with Gilbert because last week against Man City, I thought he dealt with Sterling really well. I think he's a brilliant one minute, and yeah. then he's just really, really shaky. At Southampton, he was awful. Yesterday, yesterday, Harvey Barnes taught him a new one. So, well, that's the thing. You've effectively playing with two two right backs, three if you include Pepe Reina. <laughs> yeah, he was. And you've still there. got you've still got Harvey Barnes, who is um. Yeah, you know, kind of tearing you apart again, or whatever, as exactly. the as the song goes. So, but I don't know. I mean, he's gone to he's gone to a back four because the back five wasn't working, and we've conceded four goals. Um, it's moving the deck chairs around on the Titanic still, isn't it? For me, um, he's put Hurahan in there, hoping that Hurahan would have first game back syndrome, and he's been a bit of a passenger, I think. Um, which I don't think Nakamura or, or Louise did particularly well alongside him either last night I just despair I don't know I don't know what the answer is but I, I do I do feel that I feel we I, I hate this to have a negative tone to it but I feel we could be cut adrift in a couple of weeks time mm. it's a big are we going to get points are we going to get points against Chelsea uh, realistically probably no Wolves no chance no chance Wolves no chance um, is it three week break coming up in there Couple of week break. Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's always the international break. It's a break so, coming yeah. up as well. So, oh, of course. So yeah. Sorry, there is a break because they've had games. That they're not playing because the Newcastle are in the cup. Exactly. Um, so yeah. Long or break there. So is that the one where they look at it? Do you think if Could we be. don't if we don't get anything to in get, these get a paste in on Saturday at home, you, you start to think, don't you? I, I think just feeling needs to be more pragmatic. I think Carragher on them and F last night was was, was referencing the playing playing too pretty football for being down there. In my pre-piece with our writers panel, I, 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 I had uh, Davis and Samata. I thought, just pump them. Just literally. Get get it out, get the ball away from the danger area and play in their half. It's, it's a bit Sunday league, isn't it? But that's what you need to do. Um, I'll just mix it up a bit. I have two, I have two focal points up there because Samata isn't really getting the service, is he, at all? He's got no one to play with. If, if, when it's he a 4-5-1 last night, basically, isn't it? Basically, isn't and it? And it's not sticking. You're asking for trouble. Because yeah. Elmo's, Elmo's sitting in... You know, if you really should yeah. an Elmo, you're man to, meant to put in some matter. You've got Elmo sitting in as a second Basically, right back. Yeah. You've got Grealish who's dropping deep because he wants to see the ball. Yeah. He wants, I think there's a stat at half time that he touched the ball in the first half yesterday, yeah. less, less than he has. When he was the, he, he had less touches than any other player on the pitch. Mm. This is a bloke who we want to dictate yeah. games. Um, so Grealish is not going to be standing no. high up on the left wing. He's going to be getting yeah. involved. So then you've got you've got kind of expecting Samata new to this league exactly. trying to occupy two centre halves and the, the great, the, all the space around him as well yeah. I think there was a stat last night Villers for winning the ball back Villers is the like 80 metres from goal one of the worst so, so the picking up at edge of the box edge of the opposition box basically yeah. I think Newcastle only have the worst one so they're not pressing high at all they're not winning the ball back high yeah. to spring an attack um, and that's where your problem lies you're winning the ball back deep in your own half you're in, you're in the doo-doo there where, where are you going to turn yeah. and pre- you're inviting pressure on I think he needs a change of system I, I don't know actually I've, I don't know I'd, I'd like to see two up there and just take the game to an opposition P- play Dave Davis caused problems he come on yesterday he ran through three of them played in Gilbert and he just passed it to Schmeichel but um, something needs to change I don't know what it is um, I was surprised we had the flat four yesterday given twice against Leicester we played well with the three not, many, not, not much make, make a difference but I don't know. I don't know. I feel like crying. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> what was press food like last night? I'll tell food. you what, Leicester is the best ground, hospitality-wise. I, I swear, because um, you get there, 
lovely and um, you have your dinner bed had a beef stroganoff and whatever mash drinks cabinets full you got your press table I like, I like the grounds where the, the press conference rooms in drinks the, the, cabinet you ain't like drinking no 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 you ain't kind of fine wines and vodkas no, and stuff no not yet I haven't gone <laughs> to that no. but um, the press got the uh, press conference table interview tables in the press lounge as well which I like, I like that as well because yeah. you just follow questions at them when they come in the uh, press bench in the stadium as well massive desks loads of room uh, got telly there they bring a pie out to, to you oh that's unheard of. You have, to go, you have to go downstairs. It's like amazing it to some grounds to get your press food. A lot of the time you don't bother. But they come out, you are pie, sir. There you go. Superb. You go out, you go down after, do all your bits. And then the, the grounds, well, I've got a lot of work to do. So the grounds tend to kick you out. You've got to go now, lads, yeah. or whatever. They didn't kick us out. They give us a beer. We had a, had a chang. <laughs> Yeah, lads, lads. What have you yeah, fans worried about? This sounds exactly. brilliant. But yeah, Graham Bryce at the sun and give me a bottle of beer, dishing them out. Right, 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 good chat. I finished my work for 11, got home at 1. Yeah, I'm back here today. So, otherwise, I'll be, I'll be tapping up when I got home last night, which is the result. Oh, that sounds like I'm, I'm, we've been, cl- what, we've been clutching for positives, mate. I Leicester's think you finally. A lot, a lot less than that. I'm a new fa- team. Finally found one there. Eh? <laughs> I mean, I had, um, I had a beef dinner myself, but yeah. we've, we've, got, um, we've, had our, we've got two like, downstairs rooms. we posh, we've got two downstairs rooms. And the back room is like the family room where we can kind of eat our tea in front of the telly. Yeah. But the front room is like, we're not allowed to take food in there. Although I could occasionally take like a cup of soup in there and claim it's a drink. But anyway, last night, we only got Sky. We've only got the match on the telly in the front room. Yeah. So I've wolfed down my beef dinner and my wife said, all oh, these seconds there, you can have another Yorkshire pudding. But well, I want to watch the match. So basically what I'm saying is, going and watching that crap in the front room where there's a no food, where there's a food ban mm. has cost me an extra extra Yorkshire pudding. <laughs> so I hope, you, I hope you're happy with yourself, Villa, because it just ain't, you know, poor, poor. Um, I don't want to say anymore. <laughs> I'm, I think, I think we're doing it, man. Um, nothing more to say, is there? It's down to the players now for me. Can Smith get a tune out of them? Again. We need to win on Saturday. We do, yeah. And then we need to follow it up with another win. And then we need to follow it up yeah. with a few more wins. So we're on 25 points. Yep. We've got 10 games left. I haven't done the permutations and the maths, but maybe you can get away with less than 40 points. But let's say you do need the magical mark of 40 points. That's 15 points from a possible 30 on offer. That's winning one every two games. We lost five on the spin now, haven't we? Five on the spin we've lost. Oh God, let's call it a day, mate. Because I thought we, I think we found a positive with it. <laughs> just the press room facilities, and we started depressing ourselves. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thanks for listening. Um, sorry that we can't bring anything brighter news, but you know, it's nice to build a podcast. What you expect? You all know the drill. Uh, leave us a nice review if you can, because we're all feeling a bit fragile. So say something nice about us. Subscribe on YouTube. You can see us on there, and you can see us on all good podcast channels: Acast, iTunes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Until next time, cheers all, keep the faith, try it. Thank you for listening to Claret and Blue, an Aston Villa podcast. If you enjoyed today's episode, then please let us know. We love hearing your feedback. We'll be back soon with another episode. Until then, up the villa.